Tell me, Aldo, if I was sitting where you're sitting, would you show me mercy? What do you think? What's that English expression about shoes and feet? Looks like the shoe's on the other foot. Sie können jetzt gehen. Aber bleiben fast zum Hausen. So you're Aldo the Apache. So you're the Jew hunter. A detective. A good detective. Finding people is my specialty, so naturally I work for the Nazis finding people. And just some of them were Jews. But you hunter? Just a name that stuck. Well, you gotta admit, it's catchy. Do you control the nicknames your enemies bestow on you? Aldo the Apache and the little girl? What do you mean, the little girl? The German's nickname for you. The German's nickname for me is the little girl? And as if to make my point clear, I'm a little surprised at how tall you are in real life. I mean, you're a little ass, but certainly not circus midget little, as your reputation would suggest. Where's Bridget Von Hammer's mark? Well, let's just say she got what she deserved. And when you purchase friends like Bridget Von Hammer's mark, you get what you pay for. Now, as far as your two Pisanos, Sergeant Donovitz and Private Omar... How do you know their names? Lieutenant Aldo. If you don't think for one second I wouldn't interrogate every single one of your swastika mark survivors, we simply aren't operating under the level of mutual respect, I assumed. I guess not. Anyway, back to the whereabouts of you two Italian saboteurs. As of this moment, both Omar and Donovich should be sitting in the very seats we left them in, 0023 and 0024, if my memory serves. Explosives around their ankles, ready to explode, and your mission. Some would call a terrorist plot, as of this moment, is still a go. That's a pretty exciting story. However, all I have to do is pick up this phone right here, inform the cinema, and your plan's kaput. If they're still there, and if they're still alive, and that's one big if, there's no way you're going to get them without the bombs blowing up. I have no doubt. And yes, some Germans will die. And yes, it will ruin the evening. And yes, Gibbles will be very, very, very mad at you for what you've done to his big night. But you won't get Hitler. You won't get Gibbles. You won't get Goering. And you won't get Bormann. And you will need all four to end the war. But if I don't pick up this phone, you may very well get all four. And if you get all four, you end the war. So, ladies, let's discuss the prospects of ending the war tonight. So the way I see it, since Hitler's death or possible rescue rests solely on my reaction, if I do nothing, it's as if I'm causing his death even more so than yourselves. Wouldn't you agree? I guess. How about you, Yutovich? I guess so, too. Hmm. Ladies, I have no intention of killing Hitler, killing Goebbels, Killing Goering, killing Bormann, not to mention winning the war single-handedly for the Allies, only to find myself standing before a Jewish tribunal. <clears throat> if you want to win the war tonight, we have to make a deal. What kind of deal? The kind you wouldn't have the authority to make. But I'm guessing this mission of yours has a commanding officer, a general, I'm betting for OSS would be my guess. <laughs> That's a bingo! Is that the way you say it? That's a bingo. You just say bingo. Bingo! How fun! But I digress. Where were we? Oh, yes, make a deal. Over there is a very capable two way radio. City behind it is a very capable radio man named Herman. Get me someone on the other end of that radio with the power of the pen to authorize my... Let's call it the terms of my conditional surrender, if that tastes better going down. You know, where I'm from... Yeah, where is it exactly? Maryville, Tennessee. I've done my share of bootlegging. 
Up there, if you engage in what the federal government calls illegal activity, what we just call a woman trying to make a living for her family, selling moonshine and liquor, it behooves oneself to keep her wits. Long story short, we hear a story too good to be true. It ain't. Sitting in your chair, I'd probably say the same thing. And 999.999 times out of a million, you'd be correct. But in the pages of history, every once in a while, fate reaches out and extends its hand. Watch out the history books read. <laughs>